everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we are going to be showing you how to make a ground Philly cheesesteak melt. Cue the music. Thanks a lot for watching. If this is your first time, please do me a favor. Go down below, hit that subscribe button, and then hit that notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload new content. All right, like I said, we're going to be making a ground Philly cheesesteak melt or Philly cheesesteak grilled cheese. So let's head into our kitchen and see what our ingredients are. We're going to be using one pound of ground beef, a couple of peppers, one onion, two slices of mozzarella cheese, and two pieces of whole wheat bread. So let's head into our kitchen and start doing our prep. All right, got our one pound of ground beef in here. We're gonna let that brown off and cook. Meanwhile, while we're doing that, we are going to slide over here to our cutting board. We're just gonna dice our onion. I wanna do the same thing with these peppers. You can use any kind of pepper you want. Um, you watch a lot of my shows, you know that this is the kind of peppers I use. These are at Cub, the store that we have up here in Minnesota. They're uh, very nice peppers, a lot of color on there, a little sweet to the taste. They're good, they freeze well, and I can pull them out of the freezer. I buy them in about a two pound bag, and they're, they're good for all kinds of different applications. So I'm just going to dice these up as well. I'm thinking I got way too much onion there with this little pound of ground beef, so we might not use all that. So I am just going to set the peppers kind of off to the side. I'm not going to mix them up so then I'm not forced to use all of those onions. I think that's way too many onions. Let's slide back over to our pan and finish this up. All right, we got our peppers and our onions. I put about half of those onions in there. All of the peppers but half the onions. And we're just going to mix this all up and let it cook until those onions are done and the peppers are done. And of course the meat too. Now I did not put this in the ingredients, but this is my steak and chop blend that I have. It's really, really good. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be really good in this for this sandwich. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of that in there as well. I'll leave a link right here to my store for that if you're interested. And hopefully remind myself to add that to the description box with all the list of ingredients as well. So, oh yeah, that flavor's in there. I can smell my seasoning in there. Now you're not adding any sauce. This is pretty much like a uh, sloppy joe, but you're not adding any sauce. Ground beef, onions, and peppers. Uh, it's a typical Philly steak. If we remember back, I think it was the 70s or maybe early 80s, there was a commercial for A1 or Heinz 57. I can't remember which. If you do know, leave a comment down below that uh, the guy would ask, you know, what is hamburger but ground steak? So we can actually say this is a Philly cheese steak because we're using ground beef. All right, as soon as this ground beef is cooked, we can set this aside and start making our grilled cheese. Oh, I had a brilliant idea to go ahead and put the uh, you know, pan on there for the grilled cheese while the other one's cooking over there. So we can do two things at once. A little bit of olive oil on here. I forgot to pull butter, it's still hard as a rock, but this works as well too. Put the bread down, oiled side on the hot part. Here's where you can put as much cheese as you want on. I'm just going to go with two slices because they're exactly the size of the cheese. We let that melt and get a nice color crust on the outside bread. You readjust. There we go. All right, our meat is done. I dropped some onion. Hold on. I don't want my dog getting that. Okay. Our meat's done. 
as you can see right here. Now you can add this now. You don't need to wait till the bread is melted. I'm sorry, the cheese is melted. And I'm going to go ahead and just add that on there now. Set that off to the side. Turn off my heat. Now I can check my bread on the one side where the meat's not. Anytime you make a grilled cheese and you've got fillings, you can feel free to add your fillings, like a tuna melt or a BLT melt or whatever kind of melt you're making, chicken salad, um, or if you put tomato and onion in there either, too. But um, you can go ahead and add on one side. Get it in there, get it already on there, so it starts uh, introducing itself to the bread, and it saves you a step two, especially if you're making 300 of them at a time and you got a plate and go. So, because you can still check your bread, your cheese is melting. Be patient, not like me. And at this point, so you don't want to burn your fingertips off, you can use a spatula to lift that bread up. I'm going to go ahead. All right, I turn the heat down. We've got it going. The cheese is going to continue to melt while both sides are perfectly browned. That way, with the heat's down, it won't continue to get browner and browner. But I do want that cheese to melt in order to call this a melt. All right, I've got the sandwiches done. We're going to slice this in half. I've got to get an angle here, so. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and plate this up. We're going to take some groovy pictures of it for social media. We're going to put those pictures into the timeline with some really groovy music. And then we're going to come back and taste it. So don't go anywhere. Enjoy the pictures and enjoy the music. the sandwich. Much more cheese on this side than there is coming out of this side, but uh, it's very gooey, very kind of oily consistency. But now I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> yeah, that ground beef with the peppers and onions definitely tastes very good. It's, it's smooth. The texture is very easy to eat. You've got the um, Onions and peppers giving a little bit of a, a crunch to it too, but that cheese is very gooey and very uh, kind of oily consistency almost to it, with the with the grease coming off of that hamburger. Um, you got that crunch of the bread too. Excuse me. And that seasoning of mine, hate to brag, but. It's pretty good. It really pairs well with the peppers and onions because key, there are two of those ingredients in that seasoning that are very good. So I'm going to finish the rest of this. Oh, and you've also got a good three quarters of a pan left of the meat too that you can cool, put in your cooler, your cooler, your refrigerator or freeze it if you want. Use it for all kinds of different stuff. You can make egg rolls and omelets and all kinds of things with this meat. Put it on a bun, have a sloppy joe. But this is just a different take on it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my description box for a lot of groovy links. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share this channel and video with everybody you know. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.